everyone. Uh, thank you so much for being here for my TBC Live broadcast. My name is Stephen Cuffey. And folks, I tell you, it's such a hot one outside today. 95 degrees here. Now, I know y'all don't have, in other parts of the world, y'all use Celsius, but you just got to do your computations in terms of Celsius versus degrees. But I can tell you, it's five degrees from 100, and that is steaming. And it's going to be like this all week. This is a very, very hot summer here in my location, okay? I want to thank everyone here um, for being here. I really appreciate it. All right. Um, I want to thank uh, my wonderful wife, Merlene, for being here. Now, I know you're watching. Um, I don't see you in the chat yet, but I believe you're watching. Um, but I want to also thank Kim, uh, Caitlin and Caitlin for being watching me from afar um, out in California with some other family and friends. Uh, they're also watching. Thank you all for watching me. And also my my uh, chat room people, that's my chat room, like Christian Tangway and Shohak and um, and Zaleka uh, uh, from the Bangladesh and um, Mr. Sh uh, Sharif Khan. Uh, thank you all for uh, being at my live broadcast today. Okay. Hopefully I won't be with you too long, folks. And um, so let's go ahead to the um, our blog. And you won't see the blog first, but uh, but we'll get right there. I just want to get out, get to the screen share first. Okay. And the first one's called "Don't Fall on the Corn Keep Scam." You have to be smarter than a scammer. <laughs> that is so very true. So very true. So very true. Okay. And this was, uh, excuse me a minute. This is a review of the TBC Exchange platform, CoinKeep.info. Everybody just watch this just to be familiar with what's out there, folks, because there's so many, many scams out there. You got to be real careful. And this is going to, uh, and, and this is something that uh, I'm going to talk about today as an education, okay? All right. And the next one says, this is a very advanced training. Most, most of you are not ready for this. And this is from my admin titled this one. <laughs> this is um, a training session with M. Bay Derek. I advise everyone to watch this. If you want to know something about how to be successful in TBC, you might want to watch this, this training. Okay, excellent, excellent training, Mr. M. Bay Derrick. This is one of the reasons why he, in the past two weeks, has been in the top three and won um, last week and was second place this week. Okay, this past week, should I say. This is here says why the IRS, which is Internal Revenue uh, Service, go down to when the central banking is going to go down. <laughs> well, we all know that's going to happen because it's the central, central, other than the government, it's the central banking system that is most powerful in the United States and around the world. It's always your government, then your central banking system, or in some cases, vice versa. Okay? Then it's other divisions such as uh, the SEC and the IRS and all those things as far as here in the United States, okay? I love these X-22 reports that admin put out here. They're very educational. See, it's all, that's what I'm gonna talk about today, education, folks. Different sections of education, how you have, you gotta really choose the ones that really, really will move you forward in the billion coin, okay? All right, let's keep going. Oh, gosh. <laughs> I like the title of this one. It says, and this is Randy. Okay. Um, I don't know if this was maybe his one yesterday because um, he was just on his, he's on his one right now, matter of fact. So I'm not sure. I think this was one from yesterday. But it says, cryptocurrency is better than fiat money. 
Well, in my opinion, of course it is. Of course it is. Most people will, will challenge me on that, that opinion. But let's take a country like, like I spoke of yesterday, Venezuela, that their fiat money has been flat zero for the last one, maybe two years. I've seen pictures where their fiat paper money has scrolled all over their streets. There's thousands of paper money, fiat money. That's why they turn to Bitcoin as a currency and maybe a few others, but definitely Bitcoin. Okay? Will Bitcoin, will cryptocurrency be the answer? Who knows? However, so far it's been proven to be a very good asset. Some people even call it, wonder whether it's an asset or not. Well, look, you, well, you have to be the judge. But how can you judge anything if you don't get the proper what? Education. Okay? All right. It says that the Bitcoin contest is getting so exciting. And this was a uh, broadcast done by the the duo, the married duo, duo out of New Zealand, Bex and Kipayo, they do a great job. Okay, let's keep going. I think this one, let's see, let's see, I believe this one was Keys. Yeah, it was, it was, it, 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 yeah, it was, it was actually, it was actually, um, it was actually, um, this is the other part of uh, there. This both of theirs, 225th live broadcast to be exact. Okay, broadcast is to educate people. Okay, it says, Harry, this is uh, a little, this is a little broad, a uh, little. Um, this was a broadcast, a little broadcast that Mr. No, Nonito Robel out of the Philippines, we call him Noli no, Robel, about Harry, RSVP before the ticket sell out. They're talking about a conference they're having on the 24th and 25th of this month in the Philippines. It's going to be a great one, folks. I uh, wish I could be there. I wish Merlin and I could be there, but we just can't be there just yet. And I see you, I see you honey. I see you in, in the chat area. Thank you so much for, for showing up in our chat area today. I see you. Okay. Um, and this is formation of TBC. This is, oh, well, this is actually in French. They're talking and speaking in French in this one. This is a um, actual training that Mr. Mbe was doing for some of his um, his people in Cameroon and other um, countries in Africa. He's doing a job on a weekly basis, folks, of his people and expanding. This is how he's getting. He had 298. This is one of the reasons he had 298 people pay sign up this past week. He's devoting all his time towards that now, he told me. Okay, this one has, says, uh, this is one done by me yesterday, and it's titled, Put First Things First by Admin. So I, uh, this is my broadcast, my 453rd broadcast yesterday. Okay, thank you again, Admin, okay, so for um, putting me on the blog again. I appreciate it. Okay, that's all for the day, but well, let me just stay here on this blog a minute, folks. Because the whole idea of this broadcast is about properly educating yourself through your journey in TBC. And one of the ways we educate ourselves, or the proper the main way we educate ourselves, is what? The TBC blog at blog.thebillioncoin.info. That's blog.thebillioncoin.info. That's the website for the blog, TBC blog. We have thousands and thousands and thousands of, of blog posts and video on the blog since, since our conception in, in March of 2016. Our first one was actually, I showed you yesterday, back on April of 2016. But the first thing you have to understand is if you're going to succeed in the billion coin 
whether you're bringing someone in being corn or not, you just, it's, yes, it's numbers is really key, but you cannot bring a lot of people into TBC and they don't know what they're doing. If you're not leading them properly and educating those first two people so they can school the, the, their two people each and then on and then on, then you are just, we're, we're, we're not going to win this. We're not going to, we're not going to get to a billion people the smart way. Like Randy was talking about in his broadcast today. If we're not educating ourselves about money, because the truth of the matter, he said it before I could even say it today. A lot of us are not educated about finance and money. And we sitting on millions and billions of TBC in our wallets. Do you think you're gonna be able to do anything do right by that, do right by that money in your wallet? When we get to a billion members, if you are not educating yourself properly, no, you're not. If you're not edu educating yourself about money, then you're doing yourself an injustice. You really are. Now, as I stated before, we educate ourselves properly in TBC by reviewing the blog daily. I'm going to say it again. We educate ourselves by reviewing the blog, TBC blog daily. Not educating yourself by just coming to my broadcast or coming to Christine's broadcast or coming to Sharif or anyone, or Shohad, or anyone, or Simone, anyone. Yes, you'll get some good pointers. Yes, you will learn some things. However, if you're not being consistent and edging educating yourself in the tbc blog you are doomed to fail in tbc i'm putting it to you straight today folks you are doomed to fail in tbc why do you think so many people reach out to me in, in messenger because they're not doing they're doomed to fail they're trying to look to me for answers i am not tbc admin and i'm not the tbc blog i'm putting it out there for you today folks you have to take the, on your own initiative. You have to take your own initiative to learn. And that's anything in your life. Do you think my, my, my lovely wife would be as sharp and smart as she is as administrator of a major hospital? If she, she was chosen th maybe, maybe 25 to 30 years ago, to be, a, to be one of the top administrators of that hospital. How do you think she got to that point without educating herself? So folks, there's another source where we should be educating ourselves and it is the what? The Kringle Cash Back Office. We refer to it as KCBO. Now, Let's go there for a minute. Let's go there for just a minute. Well, hold on just a minute. I put in a Something not right. I didn't put in something right. Hold on, let me see this again. Okay. All right. Now, of course, you know, if you're not paying your admin fee for your Queen Cash back office, you will not have all these headings correctly. You notice as I go other than dashboard, which we are already on. On the send button, there are different headings. All the send button meetings, broadcast leads, everything discussion. To matters broadcast, all those things are there. On the rewards, there's cookie rewards, transaction, verification, and broadcast rewards. On the broadcast, is broadcast. On the marketing, there are different headings, a refer referral link, business card generator, your referrals. You have um, genealogy tree, change your sponsor from admin, uh, posters, membership chart, And, invit and invitations. 
Under testimonials, you click on this and you'll see the testimony page. Under info, you have TPC website, the um, the current price chart, ultimate price chart, currency calculator, and TBC max value calculator. Under education, you got public, private, sit and button test. And you have under here, you have contest. You have the TBC 2019 cruise with the, um, which has already been dealt with, and also the contest re results. When you go down to contest results, you get more headings. And on account, you see those headings, and of course, you got help desk. Now let's while we're here, let's go see how we're doing in the um who's in the lead right now. M Bay Derek is in the lead at, at present. It was a tight race again with Mr. M Bay with Ace Fletcher. <laughs> There's a they are battling. It's, what is our friend friendly, friendly competition? M Bay is at 157 signups, pay signups already. And it's just Wednesday. Oh my God. This thing on probably may hit over three hundred this year, this, this this by Sunday. I predict that they'll reach three. That somebody's going to reach over three hundred, on cl going closer to four hundred. I I predict three hundred this this week, for each for both of them. And these services is number three. Wow. And these services, number three between uh, another one from uh. From another uh, uh um country, another small country in Africa. Great job, great job, and great job to all. Mar I see Marianne Murphy got four. These are people that I'm just familiar with here. Zaire, let me go to the next page. But think about these people. It's just I'm gonna make another point here. These people are not, see, they're, they know better. They're not just recruiting people into TBC and not edu educating them. Because let me go back to, let me just use MBA as an example. I always, I see no, no, no need to rebel. I got three this week. Excellent job. But let's look at MBA Derek, for example. If he's not getting the proper education from TBC admin as he's received, as ACE has received, that's why there are, as high in numbers as they are. If you're not getting a proper education from your, your mentor, your leader, your person that brought you into TBC, or or and whoever that person may be, I'm not talking about it was admin in their case, I'm just saying whoever that person is, don't you know, when anybody do, think about this, I'm gonna tell you, I know he is educating them, and you know why? He shows his proof. He shows all the people. Once a week, he used to do a video with his with his uh, cell phone, I believe. Of all those people, are crowded people in, at his at his at his at his center. That little room is crowd packed with with, with, with with people from Cameron. All paid signups, all all understanding the training that they, that they're receiving from M. Bay Derek. And with, with, the, with the training that he got from admin and, uh, and people he's gotten it from, the same thing he's teaching his people, as I showed you on one of the blog posts that showed him. Every week, you see that same photo, that same video that admin puts there. And why do you think admin is putting those same things, they're putting the same people on the TBC blog? Because we are educators, we are educating people. We just not recruiting people. Recruiting is wonderful. I'm not knocking that. I'm saying when you bring people in TBC, what I'm saying is you must educate them properly, so they can become what. So they so so they can so they can so they, so so they can. Mr. M, Mr. M, Mr. Uh, Lawrence Butan is trying to call me while I'm doing a broadcast. Now he. He must have forgot that I do a broadcast every day. <laughs> I don't understand why Mr. M. Bay want to call me right now, but um, but I can't talk to him right now. He must have forgotten that. Um, hold on, let me let him know right now. I let me see. I'm active in my broadcast. He he must have forgotten. Let me see here. Active in my. Live.
live broadcast. Broadcast now. So, um, oh, he wants to be my guest in the broadcast. Um, you know, uh, uh, I see what he's doing. Okay, folks, uh, we're gonna we want to have. He wants to be on my live broadcast as a panel, and I didn't put the link into the. Um, um, hold on, I'll let him know I will put, put the link. Okay, I, I told him I'll put the link in the chat area. So let me do that right now, folks. Okay, hold on a minute. That's why he was contacting me, because I always like to have Lawrence uh Butana Meleki as a on the panel. So uh, let me come out of this right now for a minute out of my screen. Chair, hold on just a moment, folks. I'm, I'm going to put this in here for anyone that wants to come on because he said he would like to. Hold on a minute. Hmm. I'll be with y'all in just one minute. Just waiting for my computer to come up here um, so I can post it. Okay. Um, I put the uh, the hangout link into my into the uh, chat area because I believe. Uh, and thank you so much, Lawrence, for coming here today. All right. Okay. All right. Um, all right, folks. Okay. So, like I was saying, while well, I'm here. Like I was saying that the proper educating pe is, is, is vital. And I'm sure that Mr. Lawrence can, can attest, attest to this when he hear me, when I say this. If you're recruiting, meaning bringing people to the bean corn, if you're not proper educating them, what often happens is they, are, they seek out the leadership. Like Lawrence, like myself, like Randy Wilson, like Christina, like different people, right? They seek out those people because they chose not to educate themselves, which is not fair to us leaders, right? The TBC blog and your credit cash back office, if you're a paid member, is going to have all the headings. And if you're not cheating, if you're not, if you're not, actually, I, I like that word I just said. If you're not educating yourself, then you're cheating yourself here in TBC. You essentially are. So, Lawrence, you can come on right now if you like. We can talk about this right now while I'm here, um, because I'm coming near the end of my my live broadcast right there. That half an hour is almost gone. But I, the, the whole idea is I'm focusing on the education of TBC. And like I said before, if you're not reviewing the blog on a daily basis, now I just said a daily basis for most people, because Y'all know myself, I may do it two to three times per day. When I go through an actual blog post, I just don't go through line by line by line. I go back and pick sections of it and just focus in on it so I can make sure I understand what TBC admin is saying to me. Okay? It's so important that we as TBCs to educate ourselves properly in order for us to be successful in the bean coin. And folks, you know, that is, is no difference in any other business. Any other facet of our life, education is key. So that that's basically what I want to talk, what, what I, the gist of what I want to talk, what I'm saying today, is to make sure that 
when you're bringing people into our community, educate them first. Because they are blind to what this concept of TBC is. They are blind to what a KCBO Kringle Cash Back Office is or a blog post is. Or they may know what a blog is, but they may not know what a TBC blog is. You see? There may be a certain blog post that may be actually pertaining to one of your client's questions. And if you are still in the blog, you will know how to get that question answered. You will know that as a certain TBC blog that will maybe answer a person's question. Don't just choose to read the blog every day, just as is. You'll miss some things that could be vital that can may help you in your journey and TBC. You see? Well, um, I don't see uh, see him. I I can't wait too much longer because I'm up. My time is up. I got one minute left. Oh, there he is. He just came up. <laughs> Speak of him. He just shows up. All right. So, just wait. Okay. How you doing, Lawrence? Hi guys, uh, can you hear me? Hold on a minute. Hold on a minute. I think. Hold on a minute. That was me. That was me. Hold on. Okay. Hold on a minute. Let me let me pause that. All right. Okay. Now. Okay. I'm back with you, uh, Lawrence. How you doing? I'm all good and good to hear um what you're sharing with our fellows today. Uh, starting from Randy. I I did share quite a bit with uh, our fellows on Randy's uh, broadcast, so I know the the subject is heating up. So I said, no, let me come pass by, and have maybe few little words. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, as you know, well, as you know, I'm talking about the subject of properly educating ourselves in TBC, and the, and the different facets of how we educate ourselves in TBC. And um, that's my subject matter today, talking about properly educating and not just recruiting people and bringing people to our community. Because what that leads to, what that leads to is you're bringing a person, you're maybe one or two people in, for an example, and they're not sure what they're doing, but you just tell them, go out and find two each. And they do what you asked, but not knowing what to say to those people. You see what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. And see what happens, Lawrence, That's you probably true. agree yeah. to me. You have people come to you from time to time asking you questions about things that's essentially right in the blog. blog. I think and the signal from you. Go ahead. Yeah. Okay. Um, we have... Um, a lesser percentage of uh, people who are applying um, the whole guide from the uh, admin. And then uh, the larger scale, it's so ignorant. And uh, within that scale, the larger scale, um, we have uh, different categories. Um, those who are lazy to, to do, and mm -hmm. the other group, those are waiting for others to move first. Mm -hmm. And then we have those who are not in the whole uh, community uh, for the for the right purpose, but for something else. We know about that. Okay. Mm -hmm. So um, the. The whole arrangement uh, from 2016 was that um, the heading, if I remember very well, on the early articles was saying there was never a, a lazy millionaire or a billionaire. 
Mm -hmm. So one has to put an effort uh, to that. But uh, it seems that many people did not understand that uh, arrangement. Mm -hmm. It was actually preparing us so that as soon as we reach uh, a certain level, we must be in a position to take control of our finances and know exactly uh, what is to be done. Mm -hmm. But um, we are still battling with uh, the, the, those ideas or those minds. But mm -hmm. uh, we 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 not gonna force anyone to to be on that level. Mm -hmm. But whoever wants to adjust or make a change within this community when it comes to finances as an investor, of course, of a kind. Uh, mm -hmm. you will have to go back to the education and retrieve those materials and mm -hmm. um, get someone to coach you or lead you on that uh, um, literature, okay? So mm -hmm. just to add on the uh, recruitment uh, side of it, if someone goes out there and invite two people into the community from there that person didn't have a, a thorough knowledge of uh what was he or she presenting to those two people that's going to be a problem as well because mm -hmm. um those two new community members are interested in knowing the ins and outs of the billion coin so what mm -hmm. do we do then they don't get a thorough coach. Someone will just refer them to Steven or Randy or someone else. And then mm -hmm. while <laughs> someone is sitting back, that, that, that is not the right way of doing it because everyone has the right to ask questions and question mm -hmm. everything. And they must get mm -hmm. answers. If you don't know uh, the right answer to give uh, uh, when someone asks you, then you better say to a person, look, uh, I need to go back to the blog and retrieve that information or get in touch with admin somehow, you know, and then you will get the right answers because the, mm -hmm. the, 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 the blog, it's not being uh, visited by 90%, uh, only 10% is doing that. And that becomes mm -hmm. a burden to the 10 percent who are uh, currently active uh, in the whole community yeah mm -hmm. yes mm -hmm. let me allow other comments yeah. let's hear what they say yeah you're oh, definitely I right imagine. about that mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. yeah. i don't see too many comments uh, from what i'm seeing they're just people saying hello coming to the broadcast you know <laughs> They're just saying hello, that's all. Hmm. Yeah, you're right about that 90% that people are not really reviewing it, and maybe 10% is reviewing it. But those that what you talked about, those lazy ones, those one see those you got those ones out there that want you to do all the work, all the lead work, you know. And it's and I and I talked about that. I talked I, I spoke about that, I think it was yesterday or yesterday, where I said there, there are those who want to fold their arms. And wait for you to do the work. Well, that is not exactly okay because admin wants us to have people that are active in our community. We can never get to, folks, we cannot get to a billion members if you don't have enough people active. But what admin is doing is taking our leaders, our broadcasters, our people like yourself and myself and say, OK, let's start from the leadership. And perhaps we can grow from there because admin says we got you got to start with the least and then grow to the many. But we have a lot of broadcasters out there. Like, like for example, we had 44 members in the broadcast meeting this past Monday. And it was one for those that missed it. I'm so sorry you missed the best one yet. Probably something you may never experience again. But I can tell you, 
I could it was not we could not record it, we're not permitted to record it, and I can't say anything else about it, but I can tell you this, it was one of probably the best moment you would have had in TBC up to this point. It was just that serious. And we got some inf information that you only will get if you want to be get the proper one-on-one -on -one training. Hear this, folks. If you want one-on-one -on -one training from TBC admin, you now can have it. But admin really is focusing on the broadcasters first because admin has recognized that we're doing the work. And in case you all don't know it, admin said, the value of each broadcast is worth $90,000 in U.S. dollars. That's what admin said, told us. So I'm letting you know that you, you need to understand if you're putting yourself out there like we do in broadcast, it's not, we're not doing it for free, you know? But the, as we're not even talking about that so much. The main thing I want to talk about, today, what we're talking about today is indulging yourself in the education of TBC so you can be successful in your journey. That's what I'm talking about today because there are some that will not educate themselves like, like, like you said, Lawrence. There are those that will not choose not to do it. And the expectation is for them to come to you come to Randy, come to Embe, come to any leadership that's out there to get those answers that they can do the same thing we're doing in the TBC blog. And that's that 90% you were talking about, <laughs> you know? So you were right. You are definitely right about what you just stated. <laughs> yeah, uh, it's true. It's true, brother, because, um, when you look uh, at the questions that are, are being asked today, some of them, mm -hmm. <clears throat> people are not asking about uh, the current updates from the blog. They're asking about uh, 2017, early to 2018. Then it really shows that uh, somebody did not get a, a proper education. Mm -hmm. And um, in order to take that person through, that person must understand that uh, before you commence any uh, training, it has to be paid for. I was, I was disappointed when I hear that most of our fellows within this community, when admin proposed that uh, leaders should be paid for coaching and training, Others went to Facebook and started saying uh, they can provide uh, a better training than our leaders for free. <laughs> you understand? Now, let's let's get into yes, this one. Yes, yes. <laughs> from that time. <laughs> wow, from that's, that that's time, amazing. Hmm. Yes, from that time when they started doing things for free on the Facebook, okay? They didn't, they didn't come on a broadcast. Mm -hmm. They never broadcasted. They were promising to conduct free trainings on Facebook to, to this day. Mm -hmm. Now, the question mm -hmm. is, did they build this community? No, they did not. Instead, they've spoiled mm -hmm. the whole arrangement. That is why the community, it's not growing so fast because it was promised that people will train them for free. Mm -hmm. Now, mm -hmm. who is actually uh, building this community? Who are the builders of this community? Are those who are following that guide that admin has uh, taught us, the whole leadership? We are still doing the same mm -hmm. thing. That is why this community is it's, it's growing. It is not growing because of those who are providing free trainings because the very same... Uh, candidates mm -hmm. who have been trained mm -hmm. for free at the end of the day mm -hmm. they'll go to steven or randy or lawrence ask uh, mm -hmm. questions in a private <laughs> then we, yes. we will refer them yes. to the blog do it all say, the time. we're gonna charge you <laughs> yes so you see what you know, maybe problem. that's what so we need to do they're not helping it mm -hmm. 
Maybe that's yeah. what we need so, to do. So, so they, if you want to answer, exactly. we need to charge them for it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, mm -hmm. I, I'm mm -hmm. receiving uh, these calls every day. Even today, I received about two calls. They, they wanted to know wow. about things that happened two years mm -hmm. ago. I said, before I open my mouth, you know the arrangement. This is where we're going to start. And I'm going to keep it that way because we have to build leaders not creating followers you know and right, um, right. yes it's not all about a uh, money money at the end of the day why i'm saying it's not all about the money at the end of the day because uh every member in this community it's already wealthy the administrator mm -hmm. wealth mm -hmm. for everyone so it is up to us how to uh, conduct ourselves and how mm -hmm. to distribute it because there is a way of mm -hmm. distributing it not with lies, but mm -hmm. there is a way, like what you've just mentioned. If you uh, invite mm -hmm. two people, what did you say to them? <laughs> Why are they right. going to steal exactly. and say, tell me, uh, it's, mm -hmm. you know, someone will come to Stephen. Uh, he said to me, but you are saying something different. So we don't want that. Mm -hmm. We must preach the right. same gospel right. at the end of the day. Right. So, thanks. Mm -hmm. And that's and that listen and that's and that's the thing that we talk about a lot of times in our um the leadership with things we're getting from admin that's the same thing that's the whole idea of having a, a broadcast meeting so we are all on the same page so we we disseminate this information we're saying the same kinds of things to our people that we bring on to the community but if people are not doing anything like that or they're not giving any education or giving their own interpretation of what the concept of TBC, TBC is, then we can have a lot of people saying different things. And we gotta be consistent. In other words, a better word would be, what we all see in the blog, is we gotta be aligned. We can't be, you know, people like this. We gotta be aligned in TBC. And so, we both on the same wavelength today. I can see that, you and me. Um, we just got to be careful what we say out of our mouths to our new people because they're like sponges. They're receiving this information and hopefully they will understand it properly so they can use it so it can start a learning process for them. You know? So, you know, I think we made our point today here um if, if you got any things to add you can do that now before we get ready to close yeah <clears throat> okay i'll just uh <clears throat> i'll just be brief uh what i wanted to add is that um when it comes to a question of money money reveals people if you are um uh, an arrogant fellow money is going to make you more arrogant mm -hmm. if it comes in abundance and uh, on the other hand if you have uh, a good heart or an open heart or a sharing heart if money comes mm -hmm. it's gonna you're gonna be are mm -hmm. uh, you gonna share more <laughs> in abundance mm -hmm. right 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 and mm -hmm. we need to correct something here there is nothing wrong with money all of us need money for affordability because that is the resource that we use to exchange in exchange of value, mm -hmm. okay? Mm -hmm. But mm -hmm. as soon as uh, we develop the love of it, that's where now the devil is gonna make use of us easily. So we have to understand mm -hmm. that area, yes. Um, I just wanted us to understand that part okay uh just mm -hmm. to mm -hmm. add uh something there also um if you want to know who your true friend is bring money then you'll understand the other side of that person okay now mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. it could be uh fiat currency bitcoin the billion coin but if your your co your conduct is not good <laughs> you will literally uh, 
Mm -hmm. <laughs> right. Do an opposite. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I've mentioned fiat currency, which is the money mm -hmm. that we're using currently. Yeah. And then there's Bitcoin and there's TBC, mm -hmm. Ethereum, and other legit cryptocurrencies. Okay. So mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. The, the subject of money was never taught from school. So I think it's high time for nope. everyone to start now learning about mm. it. It mm. doesn't require mm. doesn't require mm. PH, PhD or a degree or master. No. It doesn't require that. It requires <laughs> you. Mm -mm. Yeah. So you in this community, we are not here for that. Because I said from the very first day when you uh, joined this community, you became wealthy. And uh, you know what I'm saying, because from 2016 uh, till yes. uh, uh, mm -hmm. towards the end of 2017, many people made money. But because they didn't have that education, yes, they did. if you can ask some of those, what happened with that money? They made millions, right? <laughs> not thousands remember yeah right yes right, i know about right. that yes mm -hmm. <laughs> so mm -hmm. why now what mm -hmm. is the problem now the problem is that um some of our fellows did not give out the truth about this system of the billion coin so you better go back to the mm -hmm. class let us coach you let us teach you let us take you through so that we can build a better community because TBC is still standing out of all the programs that were mm -hmm. launched three years back. There are no more. They lie to people, mm -hmm. but we are still here. Mm -hmm. So, guys, you know the code. And leaders, they have a protocol and things. Mm -hmm. Yeah. yeah. Right. Because I like what you said. Sometimes, you know, I believe in that, that, that statement that you may have heard. Is sometimes you kind of take one step back in order to later take two steps forward. Um, I like what you was talking about. Sometimes you have to go back to the basics to really understand how to lead someone else to be better, to be, see folks, like you said, we're not trying to teach followers. You're not building followers, you're building leaders, okay? We, and, and if you're giving the right protocol, the right concept, the right education, the, everything got to be on the number. If you give if you're giving those things properly to the person you're bringing into our community, then they become what you are. Teach them the things that you know. If you know that you're, if you've been successful in the billion coin, teach them that same principles of your success. That's what I'm trying to say to people. And that involves education. Because I can tell you, the, the bulk of my education in TBC has been from, as y'all know, the blog. I pretty much preached about how that is so vital. I literally know for a fact that not a person, I can say this for a fact, you will never be, be, be you will never make it as a successful person in TBC if you never indulge yourself in the blog. You just won't make it. It's too much vital information there. That, the, let me say this to you all. That is the number one reason her admin talks to us. Did y'all get what I just stated? And that's something I know for a fact, folks. That is the number one reason that TBC admin communicates to us is through the TBC blog. And that's why a lot of people are missing something so vital in their arsenal and becoming successful in the billion coin. Ask anyone, is, is, ask Lawrence, ask Embe, ask Randy, ask Christina, ask any, anybody from the uh, Bangladesh community, ask anyone that has had any success in TBC and watch what they tell you. I guarantee you that everyone I just named go through the blog on a regular basis. I just believe that that's the case. And um, and I'm not saying that your KCBO is not important. It's vital. It's still important. We get the great information in there. I remember, <laughs> I remember, and I'm going to say this and I'm going to end it. I remember when we first had our KCBO, 
and Randy had all these videos on in there. I wonder how many TBCs went through every video he had there. Do you know that when I when I joined the Greencast back office, in the first three days, I went to every single thing that was there. No, two days to be exact. The first two days, I covered the whole KCBO thoroughly. Now, I know a lot of people may not, may not have done what I did or what you did or some of the other leaders did. But I can tell you, if people do what, just mimic what we do, mimic what, uh, I can tell you this, NBA and, and ACE, there's a reason why they are getting those numbers. They have had some training from admin. And now admin has, I'm, I'm letting you know in this broadcast right now, admin is willing to give you one, get this, one-on-one -on -one training. Did y'all hear what I just stated? One-on-one -on -one training, and y'all can be the same thing that they're doing. You can do the same thing they're doing. Admin, admin wants, wants many people like what they are doing. Admin wants to create the same people like they're creating ace and have created ace and to be recruiting machines it's a it's a it's a it's a it's not a secret it's a reason why they got those numbers before i realized this before i realized it i had i i kind of knew it all along I've, i said it's got to be a reason why all of a sudden they just exploded because you remember mbe i'm using him as an example when he first started on the bitcoin bond tech, contest he had only two maybe three people then all of a sudden he just shot to the to the top three well that's the reason folks so yes i announced it i don't think admin didn't want me to announce this or anyone and they want me to announce this because admin told us he wants he want he's willing to give at here she is willing to give us what one-on-one -on -one training they want you to contact Mr. Mbe Derek first. Mbe would do a little short interview with you, and a little short, not, 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 nothing threatening, very easy. And Mbe would tell you exactly what to go from there. Those guys have been training for months, folks. So y'all learning something y'all didn't maybe not know, may not have known before. So broadcasters that's in this and see some a great deal of the people that's in this chat was at the broadcast meeting or has been coming to the broadcast meeting. And they I'm telling people that you miss some vital information. For the fat past four to five weeks, admin has been there on the number in our chat area and put some vital information in that chat area. And Mbe have told us some things too, how he became. He he told us the last this past month how he became who, you know, to where he is right now. So, if you really want to know how to really succeed in TBC and really want to take it to another level, I will contact Mr. Mbe Bear Mbe Derek right now. Whenever y'all get a chance, I will reach out to him. He he will he. He has he messaged me and told me I'm devoting majority of my time to TBC now. And you see it all over the blog. Check his YouTube channel. I'm telling you. And no, M. Bay Derek is not an admin. <laughs> For anybody that may come out and ask me that question, is M. Bay Derek TBC admin? No, he's not. Nor is Ace Fletcher. Nor is Lawrence Manalecki, Batana Manalecki, or me, or Randy. No, we are not admin. <laughs> so reach out to Mr. Mbe Derek. You know, if you want some some one on one training from our TBC admin, admin admin is is serious about reaching a billion members, folks. Serious about it. 
Adam is a very smart person, or you know, very smart. And I'm telling you that um, if you don't reach out, it's up to you. No, no one is making you do this. We just saying if you want to be successful. And I and like, and like Mr. Lawrence said, if you want to, uh, what? It's not really about the money. Because remember, like Randy says, and like you're all of us say, mm -hmm. we are what? We're not a coin with the community. We are TPC community with a coin. Okay? So a community come first. And we just happen to have a coin with it. Okay? All right, folks. I want to thank everybody here for uh, being here. Thank you so much, Lawrence, for being on my panel today. Uh, thank, thank you, um, <laughs> Berlin, for always supporting me. And, and, you know, thank you so much for everyone. Uh, thank you, everyone here uh, in the chat room. Our two little ones, uh, Kayla and Kate, Caitlin. Um, all the Bangladesh people, Christina, and everybody that's here. Anybody from the Philippines, thank you so much for coming too. Uh, just, I'd like to say, thank you for staying here at this length of time with us. We took our time today. Sometimes our my broadcast will be longer than others, but I hope you got some value and some worth today. Uh, thank you so much again, Mr. Lawrence, for coming on my panel and giving so much, so much, so eloquently, like you always do, some great feedback that can help all of us. Okay. Okay. Bro. So thank Thanks you all. And have a great day. And yeah. Okay. Cheers. Peace. Thank you, okay. sir. Cheers. Bye. All right.